Hello everyone and welcome to the second part of our lecture video on quantitative research designs. Today, we are going to learn experimental research approaches. But before that, let us have a quick recall on the difference between experimental and non-experimental research designs. In a non-experimental research design, there is no manipulation done to any study variable, meaning the variables are measured without researchers' interference. In an experimental research design, the researcher establishes different conditions or treatments and then study their effects on the identified participants. Experimental research designs involve quasi-experimental and true experimental, where both approaches establishes cause and effect relationship Several distinctions are evident between these two approaches. For quasi-experimental research, participants are assigned in a non-random fashion, while a random assignment is a distinctive characteristic of a true experimental research. A quasi-experimental research sometimes lacks control groups, while in true experimental, it requires at least one comparison group. Let us consider this example for a true experimental research. The teacher is interested in determining the impact of listening to music on the cognitive performance of the students. In this example, the researcher must first establish a control group and an experimental group. Second, the participants must be assigned in a random manner. Randomization is a characteristic of a true experimental research design to ensure that both groups, the experimental and the control group, are relatively similar. The experimental group will receive the intervention, in this case, listening to music, while the control group without the intervention. What about a quasi-experimental research? Let us use the previous example, testing the impact of listening to music on the cognitive performance of the students. In this scenario, the researcher must establish a control group and an experimental group. But remember, quasi-experimental research designs sometimes lack a control group. In this research approach, the participants are assigned in a non-random criteria. In the example, all males are purposively assigned to a control group and females in the experimental group. The same with a true experimental research design. In a quasi-experimental research approach, the experimental group will receive the intervention, in this case listening to music, while the control group without the intervention. Sometimes, a quasi-experimental research design lacks a control group, meaning that the researcher only considers an experimental group. Let us take a look at this example. The teacher is interested in determining the effect of instructional material to increase performance of students in statistics. The data will be obtained before and after the experimental treatment. In this scenario, the experimental treatment is the instructional material, and remember, no randomization, and no control group. Today, we learned true experimental and quasi-experimental research designs.